About beginning live, yeah. yeah. And I love actually the fact that we have seven maps in the map pool now. Three, and we're seeing two, quite a diversity of maps one. today, quite a variety. Fight. Variety, as everyone knows, is the spice of life. As Matrox, we begin with, uh, we begin him and Demon here on Boss World. Yep. And the pickup of the Mega goes to Demon, but he takes grenades in the face and Matrox oh goes god. with two direct. Oh my god. He, he gambles everything on hitting that close range grenade through that choke I mean, point, it, and it, it connects. It made sense, in sense yeah. because he had, on paper, he had all the advantage. It's just you don't expect grenades to, to hit that well. Yeah. Um, so it's a bit of a um, pity. I mean, Demon had um, arguably a better start um, with Matrox spawning a threat and not having like a good weapon, but eventually he managed to, uh, to turn it around. Um, I don't expect Demon to really um, challenge there. I mean, he would get the timing and get the, re the rocket especially. Uh, for Demon, I think the main point, um, as you can see here, is to stay away from the opponent, building a stack and try to challenge eventually for, if not the next, uh, the, the Mega after that one. Mm. And uh, if we check in right now, we can see Demon wants to make a play for a Mega here, I think, and just keep positioning. That's kind of what he's thinking about. Those are the two prominent options he has. There is the Mega spawning. There is some rockets. Demon hears the pickup there, I think. And I think, was that the fake rocket jump from Matt Drugs? I think it was. The fake rocket jump from Matt Drugs. Yeah, he was just right behind. Um, yeah, good. So both players now keep it slow. I kind of countered there. And Demon definitely did. Uh, the best there in terms of damage. And Matrox is definitely out now by about 60 in, in mm -hmm. terms of resources. So That's nothing uh, significant. Demon, I'm, I was expecting Demon to position himself for Mega and try to do a bit of damage, but he decided not yeah, to do so. He's got the right stack for it, and now he's just kind of late. Yeah, yeah, he was too late. I mean, eventually he, he gave up for it. Yeah. Um, dropping down here is still a good way for him to gain some insight, and he realized, okay, he probably has a rough estimate of when Mega was picked up. Um, yeah, he definitely knew what it was. I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow, these wow. rockets, though. I mean, got the oh, banished to the lava. Yeah. Demon. <laughs> wow, how did he... And this is the thing, really. I mean, I really felt like, like you said, like that mega play. I felt like he had to do that, but he didn't. And then, and then he had already like 150 armor, and he's like running around collecting yellows. But like, he, that's not really what he should be doing then. But he put himself in that position by not going for mega. But then those rockets, you can never account for that. But if it happens, yeah. that's. I mean, that's it, it was grace. the choice. It was the choice of metrics to rocket jump up, which is something always dangerous if you don't know where the player is. Uh, what the opponent is. Um, at, yeah, but from the point of view of Demon, this was a bit of a hit. So you cannot really count on those kind of things. Yeah, no, for Okay. So I'm gonna switch to Matrox. He's um, playing basically defensive. He's now gonna position for Mega. Um, I don't think he heard the, the pickup, though. And he's actually sticking around, yes, so he probably now has to guess that he was taken like 10 seconds ago. Um, the game is it's going slow, but, but for a good reason. It's like um, nobody really managed to trap the opponent enough to, to, to go for a kill, and whenever they did damage, they decided to back off and, and try to replay. Um, so again, Matrox is probably thinking, uh, he just want to stick around and, uh, and, and get for the next Mega. He realizes he's probably now. Demon too late. He really. took a lot of damage. His experience is now a bit crazy. Yeah, yeah, Rocket's just flying. Neither player can get clean. Yeah. And both left in a position of, well, kind of desolation there. And Demon's going to scoop up some shards. But Matrox is now ahead because he got that, that superior positioning that yeah. opened up the right items to him. And now Demon has to realize that he's got to be cautious. But at the same time, if he finds like a striker S kind of spot to deal some damage, then Demon's right back in this and can go hard on the challenge. But right now it's all about Matrox as he makes his way to that red oh, bit. Matrox. Demon gets the Mega. Yeah, Matrox decided to go for red um, instead of Mega. And it, One HP. <laughs> yeah. Easy. And can he survive from this position? This is really important right now because this is the lead that he has. Should he die now? No, then Demon no, 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 no. He should, he should survive. He has the weapons. You don't want to... I think you don't want to be in the position where uh, you have to go back for all the weapons with the other guys' 
with this controlling center. So it's much better for him to lose like a minute or two um, and then stack up and then try to challenge again to, to get back into the map. Yeah. But and dying in this map is really, really bad. Yeah, he's got the lead. That is, that is a massive commodity on this map because you can, as you say, restack. And you can see that yellow's up, but he didn't want to take it because he's kind of afraid. And Deem's actually going for the wrong yellow or the wrong side, but he's going to work his way towards Matrox's position. Here they are both staring at the same corner. Here they go, and Demon just whipping that rocket there. A blessing for yeah. Matrox. However, Demon is going to be coming back shortly. Can Matrox save himself? He does, he does have 100 armor now. He's built up that much at least. Another yellow would be very, very helpful, but Mega's up on the spot and Demon's going to pick it up and now it's the time for Demon to go super aggressive and Max yeah. will fight him. Yeah, Mato doesn't really want to, he doesn't want to get into a fight. It's very good for him to do this kind of yeah. little damage here and there, but he doesn't want to commit to anything and he has to make sure he has an escape plan wherever he goes. Uh, if I were a demon, I would try to set up a trap. Unfortunately for him, uh, Matrix is uh, not And now dropping here can be very dangerous um, for demon, especially if he decided to get into here. I mean, uh, uh, Matrix could spawn grenades, could spawn rockets. Um, you know, and, and everything he's doing now is just, just killing the clock. Um, and Demon some eventually has to come at him and, and do something. I would say that one, one frag lead is really, it's really little. It's oh yeah, of course. Any one thing that goes wrong on a defense, and then that's that lead required. And so much time invested in protecting that lead and, so, and not taking risky decisions to extend it. But you know, Matrox is a patient player, but so is Demon. Demon has shown extreme levels of patience. Nice. Exactly the spot for those rockets, that ambush, that trap. Perfect. Absolutely. Yeah, this, this is just perfect. <laughs> Matrix writing can And that's it. Yeah. Seven minutes. And now Matrix is one behind with no control and he's three minutes left. So that that was the, the one mistake um Matrix did. And A was the perfect place for me. It's like just set a trap when you know items are up. Um, Yep, and it worked, and now, and now I think Matrix is really in trouble, into trouble, because unless something crazy happens, um, Demon can just play it slow, with all the spawns, and well, this could have been the crazy thing, yeah. he did a lot of damage, it's just not enough, and you see uh, it's this redundant damage that we were talking about before. Yes, yeah. Uh, especially now with it. Mega, it's basically everything is nullified, and, and Matrix, I'm gonna switch to him, Matrix has like half the stack of his account. Um, yeah, it's gonna be very hard for him. Yeah, it's that's that is the danger of trying to protect that that one frag lead. You're not left with much time to when you lose it. So Matrox is four frags behind now. It's, he's got to go crazy for the final good spot and go for it. But damage like that from Demon is going to continually deny him any kind of yeah. even marginally good spot for him to just decide to commit. So unfortunately, Matrox could be looking at a loss here on his own map choice and the next map will actually be Furious Heights which was the choice of Demon but you know they're both amazing on both of these maps so I guess that the picks don't come into it usually but still Matrox will try and take it. That is a lot of damage coming out from the lightning gun there and Demon is not so efficient with the rockets. 26 health remaining after that little battle and Matrox realizes it. But he's only got a shotgun and that really limp I mean the rocket launcher is so amazing on this map because of the mobility that it lends you yeah. and how important positioning is and achieving positioning by certain periods of time. It will launch very quickly sometimes and without a rocket launcher, I'll do that. Yeah, and Demon is just setting my traps. I think at, at this point neither players are really uh, too serious about yeah. this. Uh, it's probably true for both of them. Um, that trap, basically. Which yeah, yeah. Okay. And then really cool. Match was completely off yeah. guard. It really, it really worked out. Um, I mean, eventually, eventually it's gonna happen. You know, if you if you, if you run only in the defensive part of the map mm. and you never take a gamble of going center, the opponent can just stand somewhere there in one of the corridors and then do something like that. So. Yeah, it was it was just the right play from Demon, and unfortunately, overall, I think the score now is it's 
it's more like it's a bit unforgiving, but in reality it was, uh, it was kind of a close match up to that. Mm. Like that. Agreed. So 9-1, to one, and that should be the final score, perhaps 10-1, to there it is. And that's going to be Demon taking map number one in this quarterfinal against Matrox. And Matrox now has to win Furious Heights, the map yep. choice of Demon, if he wants to force it to a deciding map to win his chance against Cypher. And do, are they, do they want to play against Cypher? I, d I don't know. Sorry? Do they want to play against Cypher? I, d I don't know. They want to? Do, do they want to? Shouldn't they just both try and lose <laughs> so they don't have to play against Cypher? I don't know. Yeah, well, I don't know. He's scary. Yes. Scary um, so, so for Furious Heights, I mean, we know Demon is very good at it, but I don't think Matrix is bad at no, it at no, all. No, 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 no. no. So Not at all. Also, this, this is going to be close. It, I'm, I'm curious to see how the initial uh, spawns go, which I think it's like the only... If, if this map has a flaw, it's the initial spawns. Because the rest I really like, how the balance, the, the item placement, the weapons and everything, it's like the, the canonical quick map in a sense. Mm -hmm. um, it's just these initial spawns and things that can happen with the LG. That it's, yeah, it's like we saw crazy. with the uh, Sparty, was it? That, that was even like a second level of being crazy. Yeah, because I've never seen that one before. No, no, they both spawn in the same room up. And then yeah. they ru both run to LG. And then, yeah, but we are going live, so we are going to see what happens here. Here we go, we've got Steven on the Mega LG. Yeah. Is there anyone else there? No. So do we get the, yeah, the typical start, the typical split, so nothing crazy. Yeah. And he's trying to read where his opponent here is. He could hear him. And Matro jumps up, does pick himself up that LG. So he's got all the weapons now. As does actually no demon without no, the rail? The demon doesn't, drop doesn't have it, yeah. a rail, and this is actually Matrix should use this to his advantage. Whoa! Nice, very, very nice. This is perfect move. Like he let he let Matrix take the red, knowing that the rail was, was really a uh, risk for him. Um, but then there's the purple trap. Demon is really just absolutely outplaying Matrox here. Yeah. Completely an item of everything. And even with a weapon disadvantage, Matrox was not even able to use oh, oh, nice. ever. And Demon, that little dodge there, maybe it cost him that red armor, but Demon, we can see, you know, he's got a decent amount of stack left. And still, he still doesn't have a railgun, of course, but I'm sure he'll fix that soon enough. But Matrox will steal away and maybe off the spawn. This could be dangerous now for Demon, actually. So these incredible plays for Demon have only really gained in one frag. And now it's all going to be down to this red armor. Oh, and that yeah. rocket needs to match to even go in. Okay, it's a bit too slow. There you go, but he does so much damage though to Demon. So yeah. he's a really easy match, which needs to know that he can go for Mega. And now, and now still we have the situation about the, the weapon differences. With the difference that Demon before had the good stack. And still, uh, I don't know, Matrix the set. It's not no, using the advantage he has. I mean, he could have stayed in the distance and tried to get frames instead yeah. of just getting to uh, LG range. Um, and he actually had no LG ammo or rockets. So I think that's even more kind of yeah. strength into your argument. But Demon 3 to 0. He's looking quite strong in this series so far. I mean, what do you think of Demon's shape? Sometimes, it, you know, when we see him in the game, in his first broadcast game of a Sunday Cup, we can usually tell he's making it to the final because his form tends to look very solid. So far it's been looking quite good, but... Yeah, so I think um, it's all about his, his focus and like his, his mental um, preparation to to the tournament and to, to whether, you know, his, his the hunger is up or not yeah. uh, in that sense. and I. And yeah, as I said before, talking to him, it, it seems to me that he wants to do something um, with Quake. Um, and yeah, I mean, at the moment he's proving like he's, he's on form. Then whether this is enough to be the Cypher on fire, we, we don't know. But at the moment, it seems to me that he's doing very well. Although we have to say that now we, we were talking a bit. Um, Matrox did manage to uh, change the control of the map and basically get back into it. Um, Demon, a bit in the run, he still has all the weapons, he doesn't want to get a uh, free um, advantage or damage to like, like he just did there. But as long as he can keep himself alive and do damage like this, wow. this is very, very nice. Very strong. Now I would leave. 
I would totally live here. Um, you know, it's like he gained an extra minute of breathing. Um, oh no, he commits it. Yeah. Oh no, I'm not sure about that at all. I mean, you could see when Demon was shooting those rockets, he saw that, okay, I know. He, he went high afterwards, like you said, the top weak spot. And you can see that Matt, he knew he went to Mega and he knew he didn't go to Highway because he could see it. So then instead what he did was like, okay, then that means he has to have gone low. And that's exactly where he was. The demon jumped in and committed himself in a corner where Matt was could quite easily get it in. Yeah. And he didn't have much to even to survive with and now it's tied. Yeah, and now and uh, Matt was the perfect choice there. I'll leave up Mega, go to red knowing that your opponent would spawn there get the frag and now come back. The only thing is like he took a lot of damage. Dio could actually manage to kill him and still uh, the Mega. So I mean ballsy move to get one frag but um, as you see now he's weak back. If Demon takes this frag all, all the work the map is really for a little. And there is Demon he's spamming away but his life is forfeit by the rail. Yeah. Good good trail with nine Point of um, easy. Both so low. And red, dead, mega. Seven seconds between the two, pretty much. There it is. And Candy, this is his chance now to get this, get through match right here onto that mega. He's going to be in a great spot. And dive into the kill here. The match oh. is positioning on mega, but just enough lightning to stop the steal and get the frag. The game is tied by Demon. He's going to quickly find off the spawn. Another one. Matrox goes down and he takes the lead. So Red is spawning and Demon all of a sudden out of nowhere. Looks like he's going to have very solid control but the quick steal from Matrox. The rock is blazing from both players and Matrox has done so much damage now with the rockets. Oh 42 God. left for Demon. He does manage to survive but he does manage to have a a frag in the advantage. However, Matrox has really done a massive play, but he's got no weapons. Yeah, this, this is the thing. It's like uh, Demon knows he has the weapon advantage. You can just storm in, use the rail, use the LG, which might have uh, uh, depleted all the ammunition. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was. I think it was uh, unexpected, like the aggression that Matrox put off uh, at the red. In the end, it's not really paying off for him because he doesn't. It didn't have the weapons to basically sustain um, himself. Into. Yeah, and now it's four frags, you know. Um, back to the and it's just crazy action right at the red armor once again. And Demon, ah, the quick flick, switch rail, just, you know, it's very easy for Demon sometimes to hit those rails. The confidence, that's what it is. It's not aim, it's just confidence. Yeah. And Demon. Putting yeah, on the hurt, but he runs out of ammunition, but he didn't even need it. He'd done the job and a crater death for Matt Drop. Six in the dip. So I, I have the feeling like now they're really playing a bit for fun. Like, I don't know, it's, it's like Demon could just make a bet that wherever he is, Matt Drop is going to rush him. Although it seems like Matrox now has slowed it down a bit, which is probably the wiser choice. A bad situation for him not to get caught there. I'm gonna switch to Matrox just to see how he goes away. Demon decides to eventually back off for Red. He knows he has enough time to storm into the room. A lot of damage done with the lighting up, but there was no way he could have done the jump. There. And yeah, yeah. Demon gets another frag. It's starting to look quite hopeless. The Matrox is Demon going to assert himself once more, but the plasma gun, it's always very dangerous to try to get greedy and push through those choice yeah. points against plasma. And I mean, and there, is, there is actually no point uh, mm. when you have seven frags. Uh, um, or the to do something like that. <laughs> the nine, the 50 there. But that rocket there, as Matrox picked up the lightning gun, is going to stop him having anything really to any option, any options at all to, to attack Demon with, and Demon's going to pick up another Mega. That's nice good catching the points. Great LG damage, great little rockets. Tries to escape, but he actually craters there. <laughs> and he drops from the big bridge above yeah. on the Mega side, and now Demon is just going. He's just on the the, the victory lap, basically. Okay, at the moment. So Metrox there with a little <laughs> rocket jump. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Then there it is, goes down again. So that's that's basically what you say, GG. That's basically yeah. Match was conceding. Most is act not, not through his words, but through his actions. And two 
minutes left though in this, and Demon is, looks like he's going to get to play Cypher again. And Demon has played Cypher many times, and there's been times where Demon won. But Cypher, we've seen a new Cypher recently in the last yeah. month or so. Cypher's come anew, and he has become more the beast that we were familiar with upon his arrival in the prominence of the Quake team in 2008 when he really had, that was, that was really his first year where he was just absolutely crushing everyone yeah. and he's, yeah. he's coming back to that. The thing with Cypher is like, um, you can easily see that, wow. <laughs> One minute warning. you can easily see that every now and then he's just focusing on something else and then he starts having not so good results. But then if you have it, in, he's gonna tell you, you know, he has the confidence 100% he's gonna, you know, if he wants, he's gonna be at the top. Yeah. No matter what. Now, maybe with Evil, you can argue now that it's like it's something a bit new compared to what he had to face uh, uh, earlier on. But still, a Cypher is like, he, if, he's, if he's there, like he's putting the practice in, he's gonna almost be at every yeah. A Rafa and an evil that can can try to do something against him. Everyone else is just you know. That's actually but like an amazing thing about evil. Just I mean evil is just amazing in many ways, but the fact that he kinda of was around back in the old days and that he's kind of just an old climber in many ways. But yeah, he's still s and just now become really good. Because when we had all the you know the IEM days, you did have this circuit of players. You know, Cypher was amongst them, Avic was amongst them, Cooler, you know, Rafa, The Hang, all these players. But now Evil's just come out of nowhere and he's just actually... Yeah. I mean, Rafa, I think... I can't remember Rafa's words. I guess to paraphrase, he basically said Evil is the scariest player that he's played against, basically. And and you can see it when he plays. He's just... He is, it's hard to hard to just remove his focus from the game in any way. He's, he just seems so solid, so, you know, psychologically yeah. speaking. Yeah, and even when we w you watch it at the LAN yeah. playing... He's very calm, he's very into the game. I mean, I rarely saw him like have a reaction like you yeah. know, smashing the <laughs> hand on the table. He doesn't do this kind of thing. He's just into the game and, and really, really focused. Uh, and it's sad that we don't know more about him because he's, uh, he's not the best interview candidate, I'm afraid. Yeah. I mean, if you take an interview with him, I once uh, did a little, tried to do a little bit of research for QuakeCon and I asked Cook Cookie to ask uh, Evil some questions. And it came back and Cookie was like, yeah, I kind of just made up most of the answers because he was just replying with one word to me. <laughs> so <laughs> this is pretty much what he meant, I think. But yeah, uh, Evil's an amazing player. Unfortunately, he's not playing today. Cypher is most certainly the favorite. And we're about to see Cypher for the first time today. We're going to move on to a match, the first semi-final, you know, him against Demon. And that's going to come up right after this short little break. So don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be back with Cypher and Demon. 